This is the Horse Radio Network. Greetings, everyone. Coach Jen here, and thanks for tuning in to Horse Tip Daily, episode 1324, where Horse Radio Network founder Glenn the Geek sits down with equestrianprofessional.com founder Elizabeth McMillan for a chat about profit, loss, and breaking even in your horse business. This episode is brought to you by Purina Animal Health. If you're listening to this program, it's obvious that you love horses. And let's be honest, our older horses hold a really special place in our hearts. That's why we want to do everything we can to keep our older companions around as long as possible and living their best lives. Well, our friends at Purina get this. That's why they've developed Purina Equine Senior Horse Feed with Active Age, a proprietary prebiotic proven through years of research to support a senior horse's aging immune system. Because when it comes to our horses, greatness never ages. To learn more, visit PurinaMills.com backslash active age. Well, hi, Elizabeth, and welcome to Horse Tip Daily. Hi, Glenn. We're going to talk about something that that you do very well, and that is the business side of the horse world. We don't spend enough time on that, I think, and I think that's why you developed your website, equestrianprofessional.com, correct? That's right. And now that is a, it's a very good website. If you, if you're running any kind of horse business, whether it be a stables or a tax shop or anything that has to do a training center, a lesson program, would you say it, 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 it's for everybody, right? I would say yes, for anybody who is directly involved with horses. So what do you have for us today? Okay. I call this one break even or bust. And it's about how knowing what your break-even point is can keep your horse business right side up. And the concept of break-even is just, it's important because until your horse business reaches break-even, your business is actually costing you money, not making you money. But once you reach break-even, every incremental sale or a portion of it, and that can be, you know, every riding lesson you teach or every extra horse you have boarded, becomes profit. So... Break-even is the point at which your sales equal your expenses. And the thing that most people don't realize about break-even is that it measures both time and money. Because, for example, if you started a business and your expenses are $5,000 a month and you're only bringing in three, every month it's costing you $2,000 to run your business. So let's say that it takes you eight months to reach break even, then it's cost you sixteen thousand dollars to get to break even. Whereas, let's say instead of that, it only took you two months to reach break even, then it cost you four thousand to start your business. So, break even is a really important concept, and a lot of people think of it just when they first start their business, but really, as an ongoing, um, it's a really important concept as you're going on with your business because, especially in this economy. A lot of horse business people find themselves diversifying into, you know, maybe they're doing some seminars and clinics or they're implementing some extra services like blanketing or a blanket wash, that type of thing. You'll want to use a break even or figure, calculate your break even in order to see how soon those um, different, you know, areas of your business will be profitable to see if they're viable to add to your business. Also, when expenses go up, and and in this economy, a lot of horse businesses are upside down, meaning that they're losing money each month rather than making money, break-even will help you to figure out how long you can hang in there and how quickly you have to grow your business back to the black. You know, we ran a boarding stable, my wife and I, for many years, and there were about 20, 25 stalls. So it was a pretty good size. And one, we had a working student that was also uh, a bit of a math person. So we had her for a month. We had an idea, you know, every horse owner doesn't take time to do books. 
it's just a thing. <laughs> it's we're, we we don't like it. We'd rather be out in the barn, but it's no it, yeah, right, exactly. But it's an important <laughs> part. So you know, and it's probably the most important part of keeping your business going in the future. But what we did, we had an idea. You know, there was this much coming in, this much going out. But you know, you're you're always in a cash flow situation, so you're not really calculating it every month like you should. So we actually had her figure out everything we used on a stall for the care of a horse over a month's period of time. And she wrote down every little thing. Right. The amount of time, time is the one that everybody forgets because nobody wants to deal with how much time it takes to actually do a horse business because it's ludicrous. So, <laughs> so, so um, she wrote it down. We were shocked. What it came down to was you took a look at every little detail of that board, boarded horse for the month. We made no money. And we determined that from that, we had to raise our board because we just were not making any money. When you looked at everything, including time, we weren't making any money. Right. Um, and, and, I, and I think that's the scary thing, too, is that it's deceptive and you can think that you're doing OK, but until you really look at it. You know, you, you, you won't realize it, and sometimes the solution is, is really simple. Sometimes it's a matter of just raising prices 10% or, say, 20 or $30, and all of a sudden it puts your business in the black. And it's not that hard to check. I mean, it's one of the things we provide on the site is we provide a lot of tools to make it easy for people to check those pieces of their business that really make the difference between your business being, um, you know, profitable or, or a money pit. Yeah, and you know, it, 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 the problem with businesses is they very quickly become money pits, and then it's hard to get out. So it's better that they don't in the first place. Um, and I, you know, when we figured all that out, we figured we were making about fifty cents an hour for our time. We could have made more working at McDonald's. Um, <laughs> y- y- and that's sad, isn't it? You know, but yet there was still enough cash to operate the farm, you know, and to buy food, and that's where it becomes deceiving. You know, there's enough. But you're not really making any money. Um, well, and, yeah, to, to a degree, I think a lot of horse people are living off the cash flow of their business. Exactly. But it enables you to enjoy a lifestyle that you love. So what's the, what's the price of that or what's the value of that? That's, that has a lot of value to most people because, um, you know, it's, it's, a fa- it's a fabulous lifestyle. I know the work is hard, but you think about what it would take to afford that lifestyle if you were outside the business. And for a lot of people, they would have to have, you know, a hundred McDonald's jobs right. to be able to afford the lifestyle. So right. exactly. it goes both ways, I think. Yeah, there is. And, and, you know, I think what we're just saying in this tip is just to, to keep your eyes or open your eyes, take a look at everything, and you, you can probably do it better by, by figuring it all out and keeping track of it every month. Um, which which sounds easy and sounds simple, but it's never so easy or simple, is it? <laughs> it it's not, but we t- we try to make it simpler on the site because, like, a br- figuring out break even is basically just entering two numbers each month, um, and so that can that can make it things a lot easier. And it's, it's break even is a little bit of um, trying to foretell the future a little bit of helping you to know how much do you have to accomplish between point A and point B to make your business more profitable and how much time can you afford to grow? Because, you know, as we were just talking about time is money and, and when your overhead isn't, when your income is not meeting your overhead each month that that happens, um, puts additional pressure on you as a business person. All right. Great, Lizzie. Well, we'll mention again that the website is equestrianprofessional.com. And uh, just stop over there, sign up for the free newsletter, check it out. You can spend uh, hours just wandering around this site. You've done a great job with it. And I'm just glad that there's somebody out there now that's looking after the, the horse business owner. We try. All right. Well, we'll talk to you again you soon, okay? Well, there you go. That's a wrap. Thank you again to Purina Animal Health for supporting this episode. Don't forget... You can go and download the free Horse Radio Network app for your iPhone or your Android. Never miss an episode. Go to go to your app store and search Horse Radio Network. It's quick and it's free. You can also subscribe via iTunes or your favorite podcatcher. This is Coach Jen, and I will be back again soon with another tip. So until then, go ride your horse. The Horse Radio Network and the Horse Radio Network hosts are not responsible for statements made by guests on the Horse Tip Daily. Please use your own judgment when listening to the tips on this show. <music>